everyone on Internet Island. I hope you're all having a great summer so far. Um, my name is Bobby, and I love tie-dye. So welcome to Tie-Dye Tuesday Internet Edition. So for today's uh, arts and crafts session, you're only going to need a couple items um, because we're doing this DIY tie-dye at home. Um, tie-dye has been a super hot commodity this summer and it tends to be really sold out on Amazon um, but luckily there are a couple things that you can do um, to make your own tie-dye without ordering any kits online um, just with some normal items from your kitchen. So what we are going to need today is a plain white piece of fabric, either a t-shirt or some socks or even a pillowcase. Um, I borrowed this t-shirt from my husband, he's going to get it back. but much more colorful. And then you're also going to need some vinegar. I just have this selection brand one. Most kitchens have them. Make sure to ask your parent or guardian if you can use some vinegar. And then just some normal conventional um, food coloring. I have this neon kit um, from making sugar cookies. You'll need some bowls or I'm literally just going to use uh, some pots and pans. And then I have like a mixing bowl as well in case I need it. And some rubber bands. Uh, you can also just use hair elastics if you don't mind using those. Um, but luckily we have this bag of rubber bands for today. And then the last thing that you are going to need is some water. Um, you can also, if it's helpful for you, you can use an old water bottle um, as a squirt bottle. I don't have one of those, so I am just going to uh, do with what I have. So let's get started. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is soak the t-shirt in equal parts water. Hi! Uh, oh, soak the t-shirt in equal parts water and vinegar. So I'm going to do just one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of vinegar. Hopefully my dog doesn't drink this. Don't let your dog drink it. But it's totally non-toxic if they do. It's just gross. So I've got one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of vinegar. I'm going to take my husband's t-shirt and just soak it in my water and vinegar mixture. You can do more water and vinegar. I just didn't want to use that much. Um, and plus it gets really nice and saturated with just like one and a half cups of each. Did you drink it? <laughs> so I'm going to leave this to soak in here for about an hour before I actually start um, making my tie-dye. This is going to allow the t-shirt to absorb the color a lot better um, than if you were to just do it straight on a dry t-shirt. Um, but if you don't have the uh, vinegar at home, you can just go straight away with a dry t-shirt. <laughs> this is my dog Rafi. He's really curious about what we're doing today. So while my t-shirt is soaking in my water and vinegar solution, I'm going to make my colors. So I actually decided against using squirt bottles because I don't have any um, and I'm just going to use these kitchen bowls. So super easy for you as well. Um, we're going to make a four color design today. I have four different food colorings here. You can use as many colors as you like. You can even just use one color, um, but we're going to do four in today's tutorial. So I've put half a cup of water in each of my four bowls, and then I'm just going to take each of my food coloring droplets and put eight drops of food coloring in each bowl. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for blue. And then pink. I think this is pink. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Nine for pink. Should have helped me count there, everybody. At uh, eight again here, I think this is going to be yellow, or maybe green. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's green, by the way. And then it looks like I actually have another shade of pink. That first one was actually purple. So we're going to do hot pink here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the half cup of water there for pink. So right now, all of my bowls have swirly water in them like this. And then we are just going to mix them up so that we have colorful water for my tie dye.
Hey there. So now it's time for us to make our tie-dye design. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wring out the shirt that's been soaking in my water and vinegar mixture. I'm just wringing this out over my bowl of water and vinegar mixture. Hi, babe. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get it pretty wrung out so that it's still kind of damp. Oh no, I actually have food coloring on my hand. Uh, just one sec. Actually, it seems fine. And so I'm just gonna wring that all out. So now it's time for me to tie up my shirt. I've just laid it flat on the ground. Again, if you're doing this outside, it's probably better because I'm gonna need to clean my floors after this. And I am going to make a, just a traditional spiral today so that you can have a really good idea of how you might do this pattern. Um, you can do all different patterns with tie-dye. You can make scrunches in it and tie those off. You can twist it. Um, I'm going to make a spiral. So I think I'm gonna have the center of my spiral um, starting out over on this side. So what I'm gonna do is pinch this part of the t-shirt and just start spinning. It's pretty wet still from my vinegar water mixture, so it's kind of tight. And I'm just gonna start turning the t-shirt so that it kind of rolls into this nice sort of um, hurricane looking shape. Then I'm gonna take four or two elastics and just put them around the t-shirt in one direction and then in the other direction as well. So like this. Da, da, da. Yes. So I have like a figure four on my t-shirt like that. So I've got four corners that I'm gonna be dipping in the water. But first I want to line my floors so that I don't get dye all over my floors. <laughs> Are lined, I have my dye, I have my t-shirt ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to dip each corner of the t-shirt into a different color um, so that I can have a really beautiful four color spiral at the end. You can also squeeze the color onto the t-shirt like I said earlier if you have like a squeeze bottle um, you would just have like the dye in one of your bottles and then squeeze it onto the shirt. So I'm going to just start out here. I'm gonna make this corner blue. So I'm gonna dip this whole corner into the blue. And it's okay if like a little bit gets um, into the other corners. And I'm just gonna really saturate it here. Just getting all nice and deep into that blue. So you'll notice I got a little bit of blue um, on some of the other corners. That's totally fine. Um, we're just gonna roll with that. So I'm just gonna squeeze it out a little bit. Again, like you can totally wear gloves. I'm totally fine getting food coloring on my hands. Um, but if you're not, then wear gloves. And then I'm gonna move over to the green. Start soaking my t-shirt in the green food coloring, greenish yellowish green coloring, and just really getting nice and deep into that color. And squeeze it out. So I have two corners left. I'm gonna make those ones um, pink and purple. So let's start here with the purple. Rafi, don't drink that. Then we're gonna just move on over to our pink. So I'm soaking the corner now in pink. And honestly, I have never seen tie-dye go wrong. Um, so even if it doesn't look that great to start out with, um, it'll all kind of work itself out in the end. And I'm just gonna flip it around and make sure that everything looks pretty good. Super colorful now, I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm now just gonna grab a garbage bag and wrap the t-shirt in that garbage bag and let it sit um, for about eight hours or overnight. So like I said, I'm just gonna take my t-shirt and put it in a plastic bag. I'm gonna tie that bag up and then I'm just gonna let this sit for about eight hours or overnight, just so that the colors really get into the t-shirt. And then in the morning, I'll be able to follow up with you, and let you know how it turned out. Don't forget to wash your hands. Good morning, everyone. 
everyone! Okay, I'm so excited because this is the moment we find out how my tie-dye came out and how yours came out pretty shortly. Um, so normally I would unravel my t-shirt over the sink, but um, for the video I thought it'd be easier if I just unravel it over a bowl. So I have my bag with my tie-dye t-shirt in it. Let's see how it turned out. I'm so excited. Um, so I've got the tie-dye, it still has its elastics on. What I'm gonna do is take the elastics off and then I'm actually gonna wash the t-shirt um, in the washing machine and in the dryer so that I can actually wear it and it won't smell like vinegar anymore. Before I do that, I'm going to unravel it. And again, gloves probably would have been a good idea in this situation. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Ah, it worked. So this is my spiral tie-dye that I made yesterday using food coloring, water, and vinegar. So I hope yours came out equally as awesome. I'm gonna go throw this in the washing machine so that I can wear it. That's it for my tie-dye Tuesday internet edition. Thank you all so much for joining me on this tie-dye adventure and I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Have a great rest of your summer and I hope to see you again soon on Internet Island and next summer on Adventure Island.